Hello my dear students of class 8 Today we will continue the last part So here we are I found Burlington House nursing home easily enough So after getting information about that old lady um, that she was in the Burlington nursing home the speaker then went to find that address and he found Burlington house nursing home the kind of hospital easily enough very easily there were paper chains up in the hallway paper chains so when you decorate with paper chains you make chains with the after cutting the paper so paper chains in the hallway hallway means the way towards hall right the path leading to hall hall room right so hallway and a lighted christmas tree so you see you have watched many christmas trees that is uh, lighted with many chains of lights so tree stood in the corner with a lopsided angle on top lopsided angle means kind of triangular angle right and lopsided means actually with one side small one side some large so kind of disbalance but kind of uh, triangular angle shaped christmas tree that was set up in one corner i said i was a friend come to visit mrs macpherson to bring her a christmas present so i means the speaker said he was a friend and came to visit mrs macpherson to bring her a christmas present a gift that generally people give during christmas right i could see i could see through into the dining room where everyone was wearing a paper hat and singing so in the dining room the author could see everyone uh, in the dining room that they were wearing cap and they were singing the matron had a hat on too matron means the lady in charge of that room of that nursing nursing home actually the matron had a hat on too and seemed happy enough to see me means he was she was very happy to see me she even offered me a mince pie mince pie means kind of a uh, food stuff food items that is served during christmas sometimes the why this mince pie is made of meat right sometimes other materials so kind of food stuff that is given sub or served during christmas very popular food stuff she walked me along the corridor corridor means that passage and a veranda right corridor mrs macpherson is not in with the others means she is not with the others she is not enjoying this program right she told me means that matron told me told the speaker she is rather confused today confused means you have already learned that means she lost her balance of mind so she is kind of now becoming mad right so confused today and so we thought it's best if she had a good rest so that's why they means uh, kept her in another room she has no family you know and no one visits no one visits no one comes so i'm sure she will be only too pleased to see you I means she will be too pleased to see you that nice exact person will be too pleased to see the speaker okay she took me into a conservatory with wicker chairs and potted plants all around and left me conservatory means kind of a room having glass roof and different kind of walls to so conservatory she took me to the conservatory with with wicker chairs chairs made of wicks sticks wicker chairs 
and potted plants. Many plants were there around me and left me. The old lady was sitting in a wheelchair, in a wheelchair. Her hands folded in her lap. So, and she was sitting in a wheelchair and she put her hands in a uh, folding mood in her lap and she kept her hands in her lap. She had silver white hair, silver white colored hair, underline this, very important, pinned into a wispy bun. What is bun? Means wispy means light. So aged uh, lady, that's why with lace hair now. Bun means a hairstyle in which the hairs is drawn back into a tight coil, coil, right? In a round shape. So you girls, you know that kind of hairstyle, right? So, so a hairstyle in which the hairs is drawn back into a light or tight coil, tight coil, in a round shape. So that is pinned into a wispy bun. She was gazing out at the garden, looking at the garden. Hello, I said. Then she turned and looked up at me vacantly. Means unmindfully. Right? Uh, just uh, she looked up once without any response actually, vacantly. Happy Christmas, Connie. I went on. Then I said, Happy Christmas, Connie. I found this. I think it's yours. Then said, I found this and I think it's yours. As I was speaking, her eyes never left my face. You know, when I was saying, she was watching or, or looking at my face, never left my face. I opened the tin box. Means then I saw, means I was giving her the tin box. I opened the tin box. Right? and gave it to her that box that he got in the drawer okay that was the moment her eyes lit up with recognition and her, her face became suffused suffused with a sudden glow of happiness so lit up with just look at the right side of your book became bright with happiness excitement lit up with right excited and with recognition she recognized me and her face became suffused face became also kind of happy right means the happiness spread all over her, her face suffused with a sudden glow of happiness I explained about the desk and about how I had found it how I found that tin box but I don't think she was listening. I was telling him, but I don't think she was listening. For a while, she said nothing, nothing, but stroke the letter tenderly. Stroke means just hitting the letter softly. Tenderly means softly, stroke, strike, stroke, hitting, right? Tenderly, softly with her fingertips, fingertips, the upper part of, upper part of her fingers. Suddenly, she reached out and took my hand. Suddenly, she just stretched her arms and hold my hand. Her eyes were filled with tears, with tears, filled with tears. Her eyes became, became what? Watery. You told me you would come home by Christmas. You told me you would come home by Christmas dearest she said means she thought the speaker is Jim right so you told you will come home by Christmas he said I will come I will meet by next Christmas dearest present in the world come closer Jim dear sit down and here is sorry and he said and here you are the best Christmas present in the world here you are and the best Christmas present in the world. Come closer. Come close and Jim dear, addressing Jim 
and sit down. I sat down beside her. She kissed my cheek. Beside her and she kissed my cheek. I read your letter so often, Jim, every day. I used to read your letter so often. Means sometimes. Rather every day actually. I wanted to hear your voice in my head. I wanted to hear, listen to you. It always made me feel you were with me. It always made me feel you were with me. And I was very happy that you were with me. And now you are. Means I thought. Means I thought that you might be with me. And now you are here. Now you are back. You can read it to me yourself. Just read it in the letter. Would you do that for me? Do that for me, Jim dear? Means will you not do? I just want to hear your voice again. I would love that so much. I want to listen to your voice. I love that so much. And then perhaps we will have some tea. We will drink tea. I have. We will sip tea. I have made you a nice Christmas cake. Marzipan. All around. So I have nice Christmas cake. Marzipan. I know how much you love marzipan. You love marzipan very much. So that's why the it was said that the lady was confused right didn't recognize the person she thought since this speaker was her Jim Jim that's why she was saying this and that letter was the best Christmas present and here the title is justified thank you Okay, we'll continue again.